Hello everyone, and this is Glenda Winkleman, and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time, and this week's stitch pattern I'm calling Peekaboo Stitch. It's a very easy stitch pattern for the beginner, and it's also a very nice stitch pattern for the more advanced crocheter who just wants something simple and fast to make a blanket or a scarf. So today's project, I have three samples as always. The first sample you can see that I made with white and changed colors in every fourth row. The second sample I made using a green falls coming, so I used green and a fall multicolor. And these are all made with Red Heart Super Saver yarn. And then I also made the classic white. You can kind of see there's three of the same rows going through here with a simple single crochet V stitch and then you do the peekaboo row with the double crochet V stitch where you can just kind of like peek in between the little holes. So let's get started with our pattern. This is a four row repeat but they're really simple repeats so don't let that scare you. This stitch pattern is a multiple of three plus two now if you want to follow along with me, you can skip to the back of the video and get the instructions or you can email me and I'll email you a copy so you can follow along. Now for today's swatch, we're going to, um, you're going to need worsted weight yarn, so I decided to choose these two colors. This is Turquoise Blue by Red Heart Super Saver and this is Wildflower by Super Saver. They look really, really pretty together. So you're going to need a size 10J hook, or you can use a smaller size hook if you prefer, if you don't have a size 10J, because this is just our swatch. And you're going to need to chain 23. So go ahead and choose your colors, get your chain 23 ready, and I'll be right back to get started. I have my chain 23 ready, so we're going to begin our first row. To begin the first row, you're going to skip this first chain stitch. Mine's kind of shrunk up a little, but skip your first chain and you're going to go into your second chain. And you're going to work a single crochet, so insert your hook into that chain, yarn over the hook pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's your first single crochet. Now you're going to chain two, one, two. Now you're going to work a single crochet into that same chain that you worked your previous single crochet. So right in this chain, insert your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook. So this is your first single crochet V stitch. You've done a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in that same chain space. So you're going to repeat the same process across with each stitch you work in, you're going to do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So now you're going to skip two chain. So skip one, skip the next, and single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next chain. So insert your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook. You're going to chain two, Insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook. So there you worked your second single crochet V stitch. So what you're doing is a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in that same chain space. I'll show you two more times and then you'll repeat across. You're going to skip the next two chain, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over the hook, 
pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop. That's your first chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through your loop. That's your second chain. Insert your hook into that same chain space as the previous single crochet made. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch. And you can see how it creates like a little scallop. Really pretty little pattern. Skip the next two chain. Single crochet into the next. Insert your hook. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through that chain. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through two loops on your hook. You're going to chain two. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through your loop. That's your chain one. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through the chain. That's your second chain. You're going to insert your hook into the same chain as the previous single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. And that's the pattern that it creates. So go ahead and work across and you'll end up with a single crochet, chain two single crochet into your very last chain and that how that's how the row ends so go ahead and skip two chain do your single crochet v stitch in here with the single crochet chain two single crochet skip two chain single crochet chain two single crochet in the next and repeat that across i'll meet you at the end of row one i'm at the end of row one I did not finish my row because I did want to show because I, I do get emails where some people say I wish you would have showed the end. Uh, this is a pretty simple stitch pattern. Um, it, it's not real complicated to start and end, but I'll show you anyhow. So when you get to the end, you should have three stitches left. You're going to skip one, two, and you're going to insert your hook into that last chain. You're going to yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's your first single crochet. You're going to chain two. You're going to insert your hook into that same very last chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So what you did was you made your single crochet, chain two single crochet into that last chain. So this is what your sample first row should look like. So now I am going to change colors to kind of give it a, a higher contrast so you can see what I'm doing a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread. Now with this pattern I started with one row of the single crochet V stitches and then I start the pattern and then I end with one row of the single crochet just for a nice little finish. So go ahead and fasten off your work. You're going to turn your work and then what you're going to do is you're going to find your chain two space right here and you're going to insert your hook into that chain two space right here. So skip that first single crochet and insert your hook directly into that chain two space. Now when I join my color I leave a small amount hang now for this pattern I I am not going to work my stitches over my thread because there's too much space between them so I am going to let it dangle there just for video purposes and then weave them in when you have your piece finished okay so pull that new color through you're going to chain three so one two is my first half double crochet and then you need your third chain as your chain one. Now with this pattern I start with a half double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So when you're working this row the only trouble I had with this pattern was you start whipping across there doing your double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then at the end, sometimes I was forgetting to put my half double crochet. So always start and end with a half double crochet with the peekaboo rows. 
So we did our chain three. Now we're going to do a double crochet in that same chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert it in that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. And this is your first V-stitch. Again, this will be classified as the chain two as a half double crochet, your chain one, and your double crochet. So now all we're going to do is we're going to work in the chain two spaces only from here on out for the pattern. So you just skip everything else and only work in the chain spaces. So we're going to work a double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert it in that chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through your chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. There's your first double crochet. You're going to chain one. The peekaboo rows you only chain one because the double crochet stitches are so long it allows plenty of room for you to get your hook in there. So you're going to work another double crochet in that chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert it in that same space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So there you have a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And again, the only place you do the half double crochet is your first stitch and your last stitch. And the reason I'm using the half double crochet is because when I was doing it with the double crochet, the rows were getting a little too wide at the edge, so I cut it down to a half double crochet and it worked pretty well. So go ahead and you're going to work a double crochet. I'll show you two more times. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. That's your first double crochet. You're going to chain one. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that loop. Now you're going to work a double crochet into the same chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain two space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. And there you have your double crochet, chain one, double crochet V-stitch. I'll show you one more time and then you're going to work across in each chain two space to the last. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain two space, yarn over the hook, through two loops only, yarn over the hook and through two loops. You're going to chain one, now you're going to work another double crochet in that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and through two loops. So go ahead and repeat that across to the end and I will meet you at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two and I'm over at my last chain two space but I did want to clarify once again that when you get to the last chain two space your last stitch has to be a half double crochet so we're going to work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into that chain two space yarn over the hook pull it through your chain two space yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. You're going to chain one and then the last stitch will be a half double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain two space. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through all three loops on the hook. 
So you want it to end with that half double crochet. So if you did work the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, hurry and uh, rip it out and end with uh, double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten off my work. And again, I'm just, I'm just going to leave my ends hang for now. You're going to turn your work. We're going to start row three. And there's two different ways you start row three depending on if you're working on a solid color or changing colors. Um, if you're working in one continuous color, you do not chain. You just insert your hook into this chain one space here and you start your first single crochet V stitch. So you would single crochet, chain two, single crochet. If you're joining a new color, then you need to chain one to start your first stitch. So let me uh, grab my new color. I'm going to pull my new, new color through. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to single crochet. So insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over the hook, pull it through your chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's your first single crochet. You're going to chain two and you're going to work a single crochet in the same chain space. And that is your first single crochet V-stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to ignore all the stitches and only work in these chain one spaces across. So look for your next chain one space. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that chain one space. So insert your hook in that chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's your first single crochet. You're going to chain two. You're going to insert your hook into that same chain space as the previous single crochet worked. Yarn over the hook, pull it through. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. And there is your single crochet V stitch. So you're going to work that in each chain one space across. I'll show you one more time. Insert your hook in the next chain space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. Your first single crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, Insert your hook into that same chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's your next single crochet V-stitch. So go ahead and work that across to the end and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm at the end of row three. Now row two was the beginning of our, pre of our repeat row. So rows two, three, four, and five are the rows that create the pattern. So for the next two rows, all we're going to do is we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space across. We're just going to work a single crochet V-stitch in each single crochet V-stitch across. So you're going to turn your work, do not chain, you're just going to turn your work. You're going to insert your hook directly into that chain two space. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through that chain two space. Yarn over the hook and through two loops. Chain two. Insert your hook into that same beginning chain two space. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. And this is what I was saying that when you when you're not changing colors, do not chain. Just stick your hook directly inside that chain two space. So go ahead and work a single crochet V stitch in each chain two space across. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet all in that same next chain two space. 
you jump over, look for your next chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet on that same chain two space. So go ahead and work across and I will meet you at the end of row four. I'm at the end of row four and this is what your sample should look like. You have your single crochet V stitches down here. You have your double crochet V stitch on row two for your peekaboo row. And then you're working the more solid single crochet V stitches for the remaining three rows of the repeat of the pattern. So for row five, you're going to turn your work and you're going to work it exactly the same as the last row. You're going to do not chain. You're going to insert your hook directly into that chain two space. You're going to yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's how you do your first single crochet. Chain two, and single crochet into that same beginning chain two space. And because row five is exactly the same as row four, go ahead and work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space across and I will meet you at the end of row five. I'm at the end of row five and this is what your piece should look like and this is the pattern. Row two, three, four, and five is your repeats. So when you get done with row five, you will start row two again. So if you're not sure how to do that, then just rewind or backtrack on the video back to row two and you start over again and just keep repeating it from row two to row five. So now on my sample that I already had made, this was your first row of the sink. Let me zoom out a little. This is your first row, and then you just worked rows two through five. So this is what your sample you just made. So if you refer back to row two, you're going to be repeating this is row two to row five, row two to row five. So when you end your piece, you should end it the same as the beginning. You're going to do, um, this would be row two, and then you would end with row three. Or you can choose to end it however you wish. But this is the pattern. This is called what I call the peekaboo stitch pattern. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy little stitch pattern. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have a certain stitch pattern um, a lot of people email me but they're not real specific on what stitch pattern uh, they may say can you do a shell stitch there's so many variations I, I really don't know which one you want uh, so try to be a little more uh, precise and you know what kind of stitches you would like uh, there's a couple stitches that people requested but some stitch patterns, if they're really unique, some people have copyrights on them. So if you don't see it, it means I, I wasn't able to do it. Um, I do get an extremely large amount of email. Uh, sometimes I miss them. Sometimes they go in the spam and I try to find them. It may be, you know, a few days late before I get back to you. But if, I, I really do try to get back to each and every one of you. So if I don't get back to you, it means I either you know missed your email by mistake or I just didn't receive it so please you know make sure you email me again and I will get back to you uh, so that's it for this week's stitch of the week uh, and happy crocheting and if you if you make something with the stitch get on my Facebook page creative grandma we have a crochet group there called creative grandma it has a lot of free patterns it has a lot of other crocheters showing their work so come on over there to Facebook uh, join our group creative grandma and get in on the fun with all the other crocheters so happy crocheting everyone